Hello, hello, hello and welcome to the Cell Guru Show. What did I promise you? Life is going to go back to normal. No, no, not in terms of the coronavirus and lockdown and now lockdown 4.0. I'm only talking about our technology life. Look, everything that I predicted is here. Announcements that were made but phones we never saw, well, they're here. Case in point, the iPhone SE 2020, one of the first ones that has come to India and it's already with us. The Honor 9X Pro. And the best part about this phone is it doesn't come with what you expect in terms of Android. There's no Google Play Store. There is no Google mobile services in it. It's all Huawei's own stuff. And we'll actually take a deep look into it and see, does it really, really work? Can a phone like this really, really work for you? Plus, we'll keep your data safe. We'll find out what we can do by even switching phones from one side to another. Lots and lots of stories on the Cell Guru Show today. Let's get started with today's show. The new iPhone SE is now available in India. We are ready with our first impressions and we have switched to the SE to experience it. What did we like? What did we miss? Find out on the show. The first phone to come with Huawei's app gallery is here. We take a look at everything the app gallery offers and the Honor 9X Pro, the phone which has the app gallery instead of Google's Play Store. Are you in the market for new earphones? Xiaomi has launched the Mi True Wireless earphones too that have good sound quality. But should you buy them? We tell you. And we have a special guest on the show to give us some tips and tricks on how we can keep our phone's data safe. And now let's move into news and Mi UI 12 has actually now surfaced. Now, Mi and its UI has been one of the most criticized ever because of all the advertising because it's one of the most unclean interfaces of all times because of the way you feel when you've actually bought a phone. Now have they changed all that? Does it look cleaner? Does it look simpler? And what about those ads? Let's take a look. Xiaomi has unveiled the global version of Mi UI 12, the update to its own OS on the Android-based operating system. The new update comes with a better and improved AI-backed dark mode 2.0, new always-on display themes and privacy options. The new dark mode will work with all third-party apps. There are multitasking features added as well. Battery life has been given special attention with Ultra Battery Saver that will make your device work 5 times longer on standby when there's only 5% power left. Now get the outside environment to your phone. Rain, sunshine, snow as weather changes are all displayed in a real-time manner on your display of the phone with the new weather app. Giving that privacy is the need of PR, the new update comes with a permission notification feature for sensitive app behaviors. The software will roll out from June for 5 Xiaomi phones. Instagram is all set to roll our guides, a new feature that lets creators curate content together in a single location. Guides will live in a separate new tab on a user's profile and aggregate several Instagram posts and videos with tips, commentary and advice into a single place. For now, guides will appear to be limited just to wellness-focused creators and companies chosen by Instagram. Vivo India had announced a contest last year inviting designs that showcased the company's commitment to making India a manufacturing hub. The winning logo that was selected after screening more than 3,000 entries received from Pan India will be printed on all Vivo devices including the recently launched V19. And now let's move on to our top story, the game changer, the market changer, the category changer, the iPhone SE 2020. Now lots of things are going to happen when you actually have a phone with about 40,000 rupees. You know, with offers, this is actually coming to 38,500 rupees. An iPhone, a brand new one for 38,500 rupees. Lots of things change with this phone. Look, there's a lot of criticism of this phone. There's a lot to love. The outer part's not so good in terms of the looks. Well, old phone, iPhone iPhone 8, iPhone 7 looks huge, thick bezel, uh, lots of other things, one camera at the back. So there is a lot to criticize, including the battery also. The good things, the insides are absolutely amazing, from the A13 bionic chip to the neural engine, third generation that runs inside it. So there's a lot to weigh out here. We'll take a look at our first hands-on review. It's just come in, so take this to be our first impression, hands-on review. The new iPhone SE is finally here, not just in our studios, but available to buy too. The goodness of a small screen is back with the iPhone SE and it is Apple's most affordable iPhone till date at 42,500 rupees. The screen is 4.7 inches, it has a retina display 
and Apple's True Tone Tech. It's glossy to touch and hold too and it comes in three colors, white, black and this product red variant that we got. Apple has brought bezels back on this iPhone and there's no face ID here. But the home button is there with touch ID on the bottom chin. It is convenient to hold and use the phone. The iPhone SE 2020 is powered by Apple's A13 Bionic chipset which is the same processor that fuels the iPhone 11 Pro. The rear sports a 12 megapixel camera and the A13 chipset gives the phone the ability to give stunning portrait shots even with a single lens. The camera tricks don't end there. There's also optical image stabilization, a cinematic stabilization on video and the phone also supports 4K video at 60 FPS. If you hold down the camera mode button, the phone will start taking a video. This is quick take video that Apple has brought from its flagships and the SE also supports it. The front camera is 7 megapixels and can also take portrait mode selfies. The front camera also supports quick take and in fact is the only iPhone to do so. The SE 2020 is powered by a bigger battery than its predecessor, the original iPhone SE. It supports 18 watts fast charging but comes with a 5 watts charger in the box. The phone supports wireless charging which is always useful. There's no headphone jack though which the original iPhone SE did have. And now for its price. The new SE starts at 42,500 rupees for the 64 GB storage variant, 47,800 rupees for the 128 GB storage variant, and the 256 GB one is priced at 58,300 rupees. The iPhone SE 2020 combines the power of the iPhone 11 and iPhone 8's looks, but with a smaller screen and a very light price tag. It's time to sink our teeth into the review and find out can it trump competition and especially can it take on Apple's pros. Let's find out. And now let's do something a little unusual. Look, if you've always been an iPhone user and you've got used to spending that lakh, lakh plus, and you're now buying an iPhone for 38,500 rupees, what do you still get? What do you miss out on? Rubina has the story. Compared to the four-year-old iPhone SE, the 2020 model is a whole new beast. I really enjoyed using the iPhone SE back then, but can I switch over from the iPhone 11 Pro? Let's find out if I fall in love with the Apple's new iPhone SE. The iPhone 8 design is a modern classic and the iPhone SE borrows from it. It's a tried and tested design that still looks great and doesn't feel out of place. The new SE is light and compact and while the smaller display on the SE is great for one hand use, I miss the beautiful OLED display on the iPhone 11 Pro that makes watching videos a lot more enjoyable. The iPhone SE sticks to the Touch ID enable home button. I wasn't sure if I would be able to switch back to the Touch ID from Face ID but surprise surprise, I didn't take any time getting used to it and it is quick and it never fails. In fact, in times like this when we are often wearing masks, Touch ID works way better. It is IP67 certified which means it is water and dust resistant but do not go swimming with it. The iPhone SE packs Apple's latest A13 Bionic processor, the same chipset that's inside the most premium iPhone 11 Pro. There are no compromises made on the performance front and this device is smooth as butter. There is 3GB RAM but iPhones have excellent RAM management. Coming to the optics, the iPhone SE might just have one camera but it makes up for it in quality. The phone shoots great photos in most conditions and true to reputation, the video is right up there with the best phones. One of the most notable updates to the camera is the addition of the portrait mode and the photos as you can see look really good even in the selfie mode. I click a lot of selfies so it was important for me that the front camera delivers and it does. The battery life of the SE is what left me concerned. I'll be honest, the extra lenses on the iPhone 11 Pro's camera have ensured that I don't carry my SLR on vacation anymore and I miss the extra battery as well. But at this price point, it's hard to complain. So for me, the SE is all the iPhone you need. It's got the performance, good camera and everything that makes a modern iPhone. No compromises in the budget.
And now let's move on to our second top story and one when I'm doing it right now we may well be making history because this could well be the third alternative from Google Play Store and the App Store for iOS. The third option now comes into play. This is from Huawei, the App Gallery. Now the phone is the Honor 9X Pro in its price and category. I would actually say this is the ultimate performer in every which way. So we'll actually review the phone but there's less about the phone we'll talk about and we'll actually get into the fact that this doesn't come with Google mobile services in the Google Play Store. This comes with HMS, Huawei mobile services and their app gallery. So this is a big game changer but do remember this is not some small time player trying something out. With about 1.5 million developers who are actually making apps for the Huawei app gallery with about 400 million users and 170 countries where the gallery is already available. This is actually already a very, very successful platform. But we've got to take a look at what we felt in our experience. So remember, this is a review of the Honor 9X Pro and of course everything that comes with it, including the app gallery. Big bold stripes that are complemented with promising features. That is the sweet deal that Honor brings to the table with its new 9X Pro. Yes, the Pro variant of the 9X is here and it brings a breezy price tag of 17,999 rupees with it to India. Honor might have moved away from Google but brings in the might of its new app gallery in the 9X Pro. And so it's time to take a detailed look at the phone and also at the app gallery. And that's exactly what we'll start with, the feature that everyone wants to know more about, Huawei's App Gallery. While the phone does run on an Android platform, there is Huawei's App Gallery that we can now finally see and use. Launched back in April 2018, the App Gallery is one of the top three app marketplaces globally now. It is available in more than 170 countries and has more than 400 million monthly active users around the world. There's also already a network of 1.3 million registered developers and Huawei claims it has established a good connect with Indian developers as well. There are already more than 2,000 local apps that have been onboarded in India. Huawei's next target is to add 5,000 more local apps. Out of the top 150 apps in India, the app gallery already has 95% of them. These include TomTom Tom Maps, TikTok, Truecaller, Zara, Booking.com, WeChat, Paytm, Airtel and many many more. Before an app is onboarded onto the app gallery, it goes through four security tests. This includes app registration, backend security, download security and runtime protection through Safety Detect. Safety Detect is Huawei's own solution to guard against security threats in apps. The app gallery also has an isolated trusted execution environment or TEE outside the open Android environment to protect users' data and privacy. Huawei also has an end-to-end -end GDPR compliance to the software and hardware to protect users' information. Now that's for the security. Getting back to the phone itself, the Honor 9X Pro looks extremely chic. It has a dual 3D curved glass and has an X-like light pattern on the back. The front has a massive 6.59 inch full view display which is great for watching video content. The 9X Pro does away with a notch but packs in a pop-up selfie camera with a 16 megapixel lens. It automatically retracts once you click a selfie and we took some pretty good shots on this phone with color accuracy. The real deal is with the rear camera though that is led by a 48 megapixel lens and 8 megapixel super wide angle lens that can shoot a 120 degree field of view and there is a 2 megapixel depth assist camera. Details in the pictures we took were very clear and it comes with a super night mode that can really brighten up dimly lit shots. In terms of juice, the phone has ample with a 4000 mAh battery. It runs about a day with full use of navigation, videos and even gaming. The phone is powered by the 7 nanometer Kirin 810 chipset. This coupled with a 6GB RAM makes this phone pretty fast and fast free. We played games on this and found no lag. GPU Turbo 3.0 enhances gameplay on the 9X Pro. There's also a liquid cooling system that maintains the phone's cool even with graphic intensive games. All in all, the Honor 9X Pro brings in a new world of apps with fairly strong numbers and a tight check on security. App Gallery has a promising road ahead of it and we can't wait to see it grow. So if you are looking at a phone below 20K right now, the Honor 9X Pro will serve well as a daily driver with a decent price tag and robust features. 
But now, let's go towards Mi True Wireless Earphones 2. Quite a mouthful, I know, in every which way. But you know, the interesting things about these is actually, as always, Xiaomi's aggressive price. But what else does it have? Does it have noise cancellation? Is the case better? What's the battery life like? So what's the overall experience? Because we do know that there is a standard now that must be followed. There is a leader in the market. How do these fare? Meet the new Mi True Wireless Earphones 2 that come with good sound, discreet design and noise cancellation. They are sleek, light and can easily slip into our pockets. We can pop them out whenever we want to get our groove on. They can pretend to be AirPods from a distance but since they are one-fifth the price, the compromises are visible when held in the hand. The TWS 2 earphones are fitted with large 14.2mm drivers that deliver a crisp sound profile with support for LHDC, high-res audio codec. The sound is really good. The pairing is easy with Bluetooth and they even act smart when tuned for phones running Mi UI 11. With Mi UI 11, the pairing is as simple as opening the lid of the carrying case just like the Apple AirPods. The big plus is that they are equipped with noise cancellation technology that uses dual microphones to cancel out unwanted noise. They also have an optical sensor that detects when it's being used and accordingly plays or pauses the music playback. The new earphones come with 14 hours of battery life with the case which means that you can easily get great audio going all day long. If you are in the market for new earphones, Xiaomi's latest Mi True Wireless Earphones 2 are a great option for 4,449 rupees. Plus, they look like AirPods, perfect for making a fashion statement. Let's take a quick break right now on the Cell Guru Show. When we come back, lots more. And now let's move on to a very important story, how to keep your data safe. You know, in times of COVID-19, the word COVID-19 is now being used by hackers, ransomware players to actually get you to click on something. And we do it because we think, wow, there's some new information out there. So how do you keep your data safe at times like this? We get an expert to tell you how. These days, we have been seeing many incidents of mobile phones being compromised, being hacked. Uh, so here today we will tell you some basic tips and some do's and don'ts which you can follow to ensure that your mobile phones are safe, your data do not get hacked. First, never uninstall any unknown application or any unwarranted application. Especially, you know, these days we are seeing that people are downloading, you know, random games and video calling applications on mobile phones. Don't do that unless and until they are from a reputed company. Uh, second, uh, you should always go uh, to settings and applications and do it like every uh, uh, a month or so. Uh, go, after going to settings, go to the applications list and look at all the applications which are there on your mobile phone and remove all the applications which are not required or which are unknown or which look suspicious. Second, if there are any applications like, you know, which are required by your office to install it like Zoom or, you know, Skype and any other thing which you are not comfortable about, once you have used that application for that call, go to that application's menu and open that application and press the stop button in settings. Also, if you are suspicious about any application, go to the list of permissions that application has taken and remove the permissions which you are not comfortable with. For example, a torch application should not have the permission to access your photos. So you can selectively revoke the permissions. Third, still if you feel suspicious that you know your mobile phone may have been hacked, you can go to the settings, you can go to the Wi-Fi or the uh, you know mobile data menu and see how much data has been utilized on your mobile phone so that you can have an idea whether you know any, any uh, you know alarming amount of data is going out from your mobile phone. Yeah. Lastly, always keep a keypad and lock on your mobile phone by a pin or a, by a pattern. Never leave your mobile phone without a keypad or something so that in case the mobile phone is stolen or taken away by someone else, they are not able, they, are not, they should not be able to open and access your data. So these are simple do's and don'ts and obviously this goes without saying that always have some sort of antivirus or anti-malware on your mobile phone. Though these days they are not 100% guarantee of keeping your mobile phone secure but you know they are good to have. That then was the Cell Guru show for this week but do remember we had two big ones this week. We have two big ones next week including Xiaomi, Motorola and maybe a whole lot more. I'll see you here right here on the show.